Hello, and welcome back to Godly Play. Are you ready for our story? Everybody needs to be ready. Okay, let's get started. When God created everything, God said, it is very good. But people began to do bad things. God decided to send great waters to come and wash everything clean. God did find a good family. The father was Noah. And his wife was Nama. And they had three sons and their sons had wives. Noah would walk with God. He would get so close to God and God was so close to him that Noah knew what God wanted. God wanted Noah to build a big boat called an ark. So Noah and his family built the ark. And then animals began to come began to come from all four directions of the earth. They came, and two by two, they got into the ark. all of the creatures and Noah and his family were on the ark, it started to rain. The water came down from heaven and up from the earth. 
it started to form large puddles that grew together. And then the water started to rise. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. All the creatures could see when they looked out of the ark was water. But God did not forget the creatures on the ark. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped and God sent a great wind to blow all the water away. And slowly, the waters began to go back down. Noah sent out the dove and the dove flew and flew and flew, but there was nowhere to land. So Noah waited seven days and then he sent the dove out again. And the dove flew and flew and flew. But this time, the dove came back with a single fresh olive leaf. Things were green and growing again on the earth. Noah waited seven more days. Then he sent the dove out again. This time though, the dove did not come back. The dove found a new home and built a nest and stayed there. Eventually as the waters kept going down, the ark rested on dry land. All the creatures came out of the ark. And formed a circle. The animals were so happy that they couldn't help it. They had to say their prayers and thank God. So they built an altar. for God. 
and then a great bow appeared in the sky. This bow had many, many colors. You can still see these bows today. When you step outside in the sun after it rains, today we call them rainbows. And the rainbow was a sign of God's promise to never send such a flood again. And then the animals went out to the four corners of the earth and filled it with life. So I wonder, what do you think is your favorite part of this story? I wonder what the animals thought when they were on the ark. I wonder what Noah thought when God told him to build the ark. I wonder how it felt when they reached land. I'm gonna give you some time to continue wandering and thinking about this, but I do wanna leave you with a very quick blessing May God bless you and give you a wonderful week. Amen. Thanks, you guys. Take care.